Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video we're going to take a look at the brand new release from Light Elegance, the Winter 2022 Buttercream Collection called Winter Play. The theme of this collection is so much fun. It's all about winter play, hence the name. So you have tobogganing and skiing and hockey and snowshoeing and all that winter fun. So I'm going to do some color comparisons, some swatches as I always do. So if this interests you, just keep on watching. Let's waste no time and start with pucks and penalties. So I thought this color was going to be more like a maroon plum color, like Persian plum that I showcased on one of my videos recently. And this is, actually it is a maroon plum, isn't it? <laughs> it's kind of a, again, one of those colors that's a wine burgundy maroon plum with a bit of a red and purple undertone. It's also got a very fine shimmer to it. In the pot you can see the shimmer, but as I'm watching I don't think the camera is picking it up. These buttercreams go on in two thin layers with a cure of 30 seconds in between each layer. This is a hard gel so you can put this on top of a finished file nail or you can embed this product but this is gorgeous. This kind of color to me screams fall and winter and I love the name of it pucks and penalties. That's to me hockey and I'm from Canada and hockey in Canada is the national sport. So on to the color. <laughs> This is a color that also goes with so many different skin tones as well. So let's do some color comparisons. Fast Lane by LE. That Now that is similar. From what I'm seeing here, it's similar in color. XOXO is a little bit lighter and that has more of a shimmer to it. We have 50 Shades of Red by On Vogue and that's more of a, that's what I would call it a burgundy. Ugly Duckling number 143 is a shimmery dark burgundy. We have Pampered to Perfection. Okay. Okay, now that one looks almost identical, but it's a straight cream color. Power and Satin by Magic Gel is a similar color as well, and it's also got some glitter in it, so that's pretty identical. Huckleberry by Wildflowers, that's similar. Poor Unfortunate Soul is a lighter shade and more of a wine burgundy. French Merlot in the P Plus formula, that's also a lighter burgundy wine color. Beauty Through the Lens from Light Elegance doesn't really compare. Royal Cherry by Magic Gel, that's kind of like a metallic burgundy. Ugly Duckling number 112, that is a shade darker and a new to me color. Ugly Duckling number 75 is also a burgundy wine color. Man, I have a lot of burgundy wine colors. <laughs> Telltale Heart is a little bit lighter and that one's almost like a metallic color. Raspberry Ripple by Magic Gel, doesn't really compare. We have Red Mahogany, that is super close but a little bit lighter. On Vogue burgundy that's a shade lighter fusions phoenix is a lighter burgundy with some glitter in it light elegance buttercream let's monkey around that's got more brown undertones to it and here's persian plum by light elegance so that's got more of a purpley plum so this one doesn't compare well i'm i'm happy about that it's missing you madly that also looks similar and lastly cinnamon sticks which is a lighter burgundy Okay, next we have Snowshoe for Two, and this is a really pretty red. It's a lighter red with some glitter, very, very fine glitter. It looks like it's got a pink undertone or pinky purple undertone. I like that there's a very soft shimmery glitter in this one as well. And as I've mentioned previously, when you agitate the buttercreams or stir them like I was doing, they become thinner. So you're seeing my application being done with a thinner consistency, if you will. If you take a dollop of color out of the pot without stirring it, it's a little bit thicker. And I think you would get a more opaque coverage, but it won't be as fluid if you were to stir it. Does that make sense? So of course, this being a red, my favorite color, 
color. I think this is gorgeous. I love how it looks on all of the skin tones. I love the soft glittery shimmer that's in this. So let's compare this to Lipstick and Letters from the Winter Collection. It's similar in shade, but with Lipstick and Letters is a little bit more of a berry color and it's a cream. Heartbreak, which I featured in my last video, that's more of a true red color. We have Ahoy There Matey, that's more of a red color. Real Red Buttercream, that's a shade lighter. Similar in tone, but a shade lighter. Executive Red, that's almost looking a little similar. Stateboard Red by Wildflowers, that's got more of a red undertone, not a berry undertone. Unruly Red, that almost looks like it has an orange undertone in comparison. Ugly Duckling number 47. Ooh, that looks similar, doesn't it? Not ooh, but <laughs> that looks similar. Strawberry Sunset looks pretty similar. Ugly Duckling number 48 is a little bit darker, so it's a darker shade of red. A little bit more of a berry red. Red Rover in the P Plus formula by Light Elegance is a shade lighter. The Crown Jewel Butter Cream, that is a darker red, and I'm like, I'm drooling over that one. <laughs> On Vogue's Roxanne. And that's a shade darker, just a well, half a shade darker. We have Loose Lips Buttercream, which is a deeper toned red. On Vogue Screw It in their Lacket line. That's pretty similar, I have to say. Magic Gel's Deep Rose is a deeper red. Ugly Duckling Color Gel number 47 is a deeper berry type red, so it doesn't really compare. Berry Bliss is more on the berry side in a deeper color and doesn't compare. Ugly Duckling Gel Polish number 45 is a deep berry red, that's pretty. And Rich Rosewood by Magic Gel, you can see the difference there. And Ugly Duckling number 164 is deeper as well. Okay, let's move on to Bunny Slopes, which is this really pretty blush, warm toned, kind of a peachy neutral. And I don't know, for some reason, even though this is a light color that could be worn in the springtime and the summer, I think this would look great if you were to do a set of sweater nails. It's got that warmth to it where it's cozy and and it's, it's like a feel-good color. And it's a nice contrast from the dark jewel tone colors that we usually see in the winter. So I actually am liking the fact that that Light Elegance put this in the collection just to break it up a little bit. And look how wonderful it looks like on all three skin tones. Like this is a color that I think anyone could wear. This color would look stunning for winter nails. Put some either silver blue snowflakes on for a little bit of a contrast or gold snowflakes. That would look amazing. Okay, let's compare this to Flannel for One from the new release in the Hard Gels. That doesn't compare. Salmon Peach from Magic Gel is more of a summer or springtime color. Ugly Duckling Color Gel number 10 is a deeper toned neutral color. P Plus A Mother's Memories is a also a deeper toned neutral color. Sexy Suede Buttercream also a deeper toned color. P Plus Afternoon Tea is an even deeper toned neutral color. On Vogue Sweet Nothing is darker. Ugly Duckling Color Gel number 38 is more of a light brown. On Vogue's Milan is more of a beige neutral. Pink Tutu Buttercream, that's similar but a shade lighter. Then we have Sandman Tan from Light Elegance, which is a deeper toned neutral as well as the others. <laughs> Nude with Attitude, that's got more brown undertones to it. On Vogue Simply Paint Nude is more of a nude neutral color, no pink undertones. Ballet Slipper from Wildflowers doesn't compare, more of a peach color. Khakis and Cameras doesn't compare. And Ugly Duckling number eight, and that one doesn't compare. So let's move on to Praying for Powder. Praying for Powder is a stunning deep ink blue, almost a navy blue. It has very fine shimmer or glitter in it, and it, the glitter Glitters are a almost an aqua color and a fuchsia color. So there's those two glitters in there. I'm actually wearing this color and love it. Love it, love it, love it. This went on so perfectly. I'm wearing this color on top of a finished filed nail and I found that even though the there are glitters in here, they sort of sunk down to the bottom. So they didn't stick up or poke or you get a rough edge or anything like that. And it was just amazing to 
to work with. Ooh, I have an idea of what to do for a Christmas tutorial for you guys using this color. Okay, well, there's a teaser for you. <laughs> Stay tuned till next month when you see my some of my Christmas content. <laughs> okay, Carrie, stop chasing squirrels. Let's move it back to this video here. <laughs> Let's do some color comparisons. Real Rebel is more of a, I, you know what, you guys, I should just let you watch this because I cannot talk fast enough to describe each color. And this one from Ugly Ducklings got more of a gray undertone to it and it's a cream. There's no glitter in it. Rain Rain Go Away is a deeper, deep, deep midnight blue, I think. Kiss of Death Buttercream is got more of a gray or steel blue undertone to it with a shimmer. And Galaxy Paradise is more of a blue black color gel with some glitter in it. Ugly Duckling number 62 has got more of a gray base to it, so it's not that ink blue. P plus Blue Velvet is a little bit darker. Nevermore Buttercream by Light Elegance has got a gray base and it's a little bit darker as well. Number 111 from Ugly Duckling has got more of a steel gray undertone. Ugly Duckling number 60 does not compare at all. Different tones. Ocean Wonders from Magic Gel. That is super similar, even with the glitter in it. Then we have Crisp Air by Fusion and that is a, even a deeper ink blue, navy blue. And lastly, Well Seasoned, that is a lighter shade of blue. Okay, let's move on to Toboggan Time. And Toboggan Time is this really warm, almost a rust terracotta color. It's a neutral color. I'm seeing some, oh, is there such a thing as a taupey orange or a grayed taupey orange? Cause that's kind of what I'm seeing here. Maybe orange is the wrong word. Maybe a brownie red undertone, which is kind of a terracotta color. <laughs> okay, so this is after the second coat. It goes on really, really nice, full opaque coverage. This one was really creamy and silky to work with. So there's no glitter, no shimmer, no metallic component to it. It's a really beautiful cream color. And again, sweater nails. I could do a really nice set of sweater nails with this color and bunny slopes together to create a really cool winter set. I also would do some, I would stamp some gold swirls on this color, gold snowflakes, maybe some pearl white snowflakes. I think that would look stunning on top of this color. Ugly Duckling number 160, that's got a little bit more red to it, like a lighter orangey red. I'm Cured Buttercream, that's more of your fall orange. This color from Ugly Duckling is a shade lighter and a little bit on the brown side. Pack on the neck, that's super similar, but a shade lighter. Ugly Duckling number 26, that's more of your dusty rose kind of color. Ugly Duckling number 108 is also more of that dusty rosy taupe kind of color and we have hidden secrets which is oh that's a shade lighter that's kind of the same tone but a shade lighter mauve marcella by magic gel that's got a little bit more taupey purple hue to it ugly duckling 142 is more of a pinky rose color and number 40 color gel also is a pinky rose color Okay, last buttercream is Chairlift Chit Chat. And this is, this is stunning. This is gorgeous. It's like a berry, uh, lighter than a cranberry, but it's like a berry pink with some red hues to it. But I'm thinking it's leaning more on the pink side than the red side. This is like a lipstick pink. And it's a cream color. There's no shimmer or glitter or metallic components to it. And one thin layer, you get an opaque coverage, but I always like to see the true color when you build it up into two thin layers. So the, the pinky or the berry color is really coming through here. Like look how gorgeous it looks like on the dark skin tone. I mean, all three skin tones, this looks stunning on. And because this is a hard gel, you could embed this color. So put some of those iridescent, uh, almost chameleon-like snowflake glitters that I have that I showed in one of my previous videos. That would look stunning. Okay, compared to number 27 from Ugly Duckling, that's a deeper berry wine color. Positively Charged is a darker color and also more of a raspberry color. 
on Vogue Sangria. That's also like a deep raspberry color as well. So it's got more purple hues to it. Sitting Pretty in a Penthouse has got more purple hues to it. Inhale Exhale Buttercream. I thought that was more brown, but it's not. It's more of a deep wine color. Rosy Posy that you guys are probably wondering about. So there you go. That doesn't compare. And number 142 Gel Polish and number 40 Color Gel by Ugly Duckling. Okay, let's recap. What do I think of this collection? I love the theme of this winter collection. They're winter type sports. The names of these colors are so creative and so fun and it just makes me want to go out and play in the snow even though it's only November and the grass is still green where I live. <laughs> Every color that I swatched was very consistent in how it applied to the swatch stick so there wasn't any that was really see-through or runny or not very pigmented. They were all very pigmented pigmented, all very easy to apply and, and very consistent, which is what I really appreciate that in a collection. This is a collection that's going to take you from late fall to early spring, all through the holidays, especially with the red and the pinky red colors. Each color is very unique in its own way, but I'm wondering if we've seen these colors before from Light Elegance. I don't have all the colors in the hard gel line to confirm that. Some of you, you might be able to respond and comment below if you have colors similar. I know within my whole collection with the different brands that I carry, I do have some very similar colors and I'm thinking Snowshoe for two might be similar to some other reds in the buttercream and in the color gel collection as well. Now that's not a bad thing for me personally because I love red and I could just have red in my studio. My clients might not like it but I would love it. <laughs> I like the the fact that there is that berry red so chairlift chit chat that really nice um, Christmas or winter berry red pinky red snowshoe for two is a classic red color for Christmas time I love the dark plum and blue color and then you have some neutrals for those clients that are just not into the heavy really powerful dark colors or jewel toned colors they might not be into so toboggan time and bunny slopes is perfect for them and I'm seeing a trend this fall and winter where colors are really toned down. There's not really bright in your face colors. A lot of the colors we have seen up until the end of this year have been really earthy toned down colors. And I don't know if that's the fact of what we've been going through for the past 18 months or what. But I know for me, I love to see a red in every winter collection. So you're not gonna get a complaint out of me, but I am just craving a royal deep purple and the shimmery metallic where you can see that that lusciousness of a royal purple color I I, oh, I have no words one day a luscious royal jewel toned purple will fall at my doorstep and say I'm here I have arrived <laughs> Okay, enough of that. Tell me what you guys think of this collection. <laughs> Can you tell I'm tired? <laughs> Tell me what you guys think of this collection. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. I read all of your messages and I try to get back to each and every one of you. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media. Like, comment, and share this video if you like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification so you get notified of when I upload new videos. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I answered most of your questions. Again, if not, comment those questions down below and I think that's it. So until next week you guys I hope you have a fabulous week and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys!